Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to our quick holiday cards for all levels. And this is video number two. If you haven't seen video number one, please go back and watch it because I'm showing you the embossing folder and how to get the embossed image like we already have done here and how to stamp very simply. I'll show you stamping again, but this is such a pretty card, isn't it? Love that, and it's so easy, it really is. So let me show you what we're going to do. Now we're going, We I've already taken the embossing folder, and I'm using the pine cardstock. So I've cut it down four by five and a quarter, I've embossed it, and now what we're going to do is the, um, this holly embossing folder comes with two stencils. So today I'm just going to show you one color, so we're, keep, we're keeping it super easy, and we're going to put that stencil right on top. So you wanna line it up, and we're only going to sponge in in pine ink this time. And what I've done is I've taken our masking tape, and I'm just going to cover up the center. Now, why am I covering up the center is because you're not going to see it on the card, so I don't need to worry about all the different pieces. But can you see how it's lined up on some of these? And then what I'll do is I will be sponging those in. All right, so let's take a look at this. We have my craft mat underneath, pine, ink. Now there's a couple of different brushes you can use. You can definitely use our new brush with the black handle that has a very fine tip, um, actually fine um, threads, but you can also use the new dome tip, the flat tip, and I still go to the little finger dauber a lot. Very easy to use. You usually you can get three to 12 in a pack, and um, I'm just going to ink that up right here. And Hold my stencil down and just start coloring in right on top. So you can see it's picking up color and now it's just going to add that pop of color right on to the stencil. I'm sorry, right onto the paper that we want to pop with more color. Now, I don't have to worry about the middle, right? Because that's where the card sentiment is going. So feel free to just go around the whole card. Isn't this fast? Isn't this easy? And wait till you see how effective it is. So you can see I'm really just going along. You could do so many of these in a short period of time. But this is just one idea of what you can do with these stencils. Isn't that fun? Let me add a little bit more here. And I think that's good. All right. And that's all I did on here. Now, I could go and add the other stencil on top and do some more of these leaves, but I'm going to keep that stencil and show that to you tomorrow night where we add three colors on one, three, I think it's three. Yep, one, two, three, it looks like three colors on a stencil. So that is just how pretty this can be. There's so much you can do with the stencils and they're fun, they really are fun. So I will show you, um, at if you stay tuned for the special offer coming in a couple of days, I will show you how to clean your stencils as well. There's so many fun things that you can do. Now I'm just going to put this right on top of the card. And I already took my paper, I took my stamp, I inked it up, and I stamped it in pine. I did want to show you how easy it is to stamp our message for the card. So I also like to walk my stamp, my ink pad, on top of the stamp. Okay, so my stamp's already been seasoned because I've used it. And I'll take a peek, it looks good. See if I can bring it in a little closer so you can see how that looks. And it might have just need a little bit more ink on there. You can go left, right, left, right, tap, tap. That's looking good. And then it's a straight up and down motion. The bigger the block, the more pressure. And there you have a perfect imprint. 
Now, I know I mentioned to you I was going to show you later or at another time about cleaning your stencil, but it's super easy. Do you have our chamois? Our chamois are great for cleaning our stamps. So you just wet it and you wipe your stamps down. I could put the stamp back on its sleeve. But you can also, if you're just doing a few of these, you know, you, you have one color on here, it's just easier to grab your chamois and wipe that off. I would do both sides just in case. And then you can always use a paper towel if you need it. You can run it, run it under water and use a paper towel to dry, and it works great. And that's it. That's all you need to do. All right, back to the now video. I'm going to show you a couple of choices. So here you can see, um, do you see that gold? Isn't that fun? Well, that is easily done, and I will show you in my when I do a special offer on the class on how to use our metallic markers to add that look to the card. Right now, we're just going to keep it very simple. So if you like traditional colors, this is scarlet, and you can add that. If you like green on green, this is sage, and you have that look. And if you want to add glitter, we have that beautiful pine, and Seabrook would be pretty too. Look how pretty that is. There's also scarlet that you could use if you wanted to use red. I think I'm gonna use this glitter. Now when I'm using glitter, just so you know, a great tip is you might wanna add a little bit of a glue dot, um, only because glitter is a little bit harder for adhesive uh, to stick to. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of a glue dot here and here so that this message will sit right on top. So those are some sweet little tips that help you. And then if you want, you can definitely just glue this down or you can pop it up. But do you like this look, this thread? Let me show you the gold thread. When you start unraveling it, it gets a little, has all of these little kinks in it from the wood, um, the paper. You just take the bone folder and it helps smooth it right out. I'm gonna grab that glue dot again, and I'm gonna put it on my middle finger. If I can get it off of here, grab one. That's gonna be really sticky. Okay, so you can see it right here on my middle finger. And I'm gonna wrap it around three fingers four times. Okay, snip. And roll that glue so it holds that. And you can play with that string if you want. And I'm going to put it right here on this back of the glitter. And I think I'll just glue this down just to make it super easy. Silver would be pretty as well. Okay, so there you have it. Here we have gold thread, gold gems, and here is the pine glitter. Isn't that pretty? So easy to do. Well, that's how easy it is to use these stencils, and you're going to love the new masking tape that comes in the one inch size or, size or the larger size, which you can also rip. And um, cleaning this is just running it underneath the sink and using a paper towel, and the ink comes right off. Now, my tip is, if I was going to be doing five of these, that's what I would be doing, is stenciling, coloring in, coloring in all five or ten, whatever. Then I would wash my stencil. All right. Well, I hope you thought that was really fast and super effective, right? It's so pretty, and it looks like you spent so much time creating these cards. And it's not that much time at all. So do me a favor. Why don't you tell, show me that um, if you have a stencil in your stash, I'd love for you to pull it out, use it, and post a photo of the, of the stencil or the art that you've just created with it. Just get your, you know, get your hands a little inky and wet, and then show, show us a photo of what you're doing. Now, for those of you who don't have a stencil, don't worry. I'd still like for you to participate. I want to know who you are so I can help you. So do me a favor and post a note. This was so cool. Show me more. Would you like to know more? Well, then stay tuned for tomorrow night 
will be video number three at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, same dial, same channel, same page, so that I can show you even more of what you can do with this great Holly folder, dry embossing folder, and stencils. I really look forward to sharing it. Now, one thing I want to say is um, thank you to Lisa Stenz because I saw some of her card ideas and that really inspired me to create the same uh, or similar cards using her um, beautiful creativity. So thanks, Lisa, and I will see you girls tomorrow night.